I'd like to thank you for choosing PDF Element as your preferred document productivity solution. PDF Element has everything you need to create, edit, convert, secure, and sign 100% industry standard PDF documents. In this video, I'll be sharing some valuable information that will make a big difference to the amount of time you spend working with hard copies of your documents. A popular workflow is to create an editable PDF from a scanned document. This can be for an electronic archive or to modify a document when you only have a hard copy. Let's have a look at how you can perform OCR, or Optical Character Recognition, using PDF Element on Mac to convert scanned documents into ones that are editable and searchable. Now let's get started with our tutorial. Start by opening a scanned PDF document that does not contain editable text. This is also known as an image-based PDF and is typically created when you use a scanner to make a digital copy of a paper document. PDF Element has detected that the document is a scanned PDF and recommends that you perform OCR, or Optical Character Recognition, which enables you to copy, edit, and search text from scanned documents. Click Perform OCR. OCR is available in over 20 languages. In the pop-up window, select the appropriate language of your document by applying the corresponding checkmark. Now, click OK. Note that OCR may cause changes to the text and layout of your document. Wait for the progress bar to fully load, then open up your new editable document in PDF Element. Click the Edit button on the menu, then choose a portion of text delete the existing text, or type directly into the line. Change the font type, size, and color using the options found in the submenu. You can even reposition text by dragging it around the page. This concludes our demonstration on how to perform OCR, or Optical Character Recognition, on a PDF using PDF Element for Mac. Using PDF Element's OCR function, physical copies of paper and other documents can be digitized and edited. Join me next time for another tutorial. If you found this information helpful, click the like button and subscribe to my channel.